All right, guys, what is up? It is me, Tritonus, back again from another hiatus, Thanksgiving related, of course. I had to go spend some time with the family, other such real life things, but I am back, and I'm adjusting my television because it's slanted for some reason. Uh, but anyway, ugh, it's still slanted. Ugh, I thought I'd gotten rid of these problems. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that seems to have fixed it. Alright, so anyway, um, as you can see, we are here with the first game in a long series of games I intend to play called Assassin's Creed. Trademark. See, there's a little trademark thing there. Um, I've been looking forward to playing these games for quite a while, uh, just because I really enjoy the Assassin's Creed series, and I think you guys will probably enjoy watching me play it. Um, I know I don't have a very large audience, but I hope the guys who do watch me, and the gals that watch me, will enjoy watching me play this game. Because it's going to be a long series of games. I mean, there's, right now it's like, see, uh, seven games in the Assassin's Creed series? I applied my heart to know wisdom. And to no oh, this is not disturbing at all. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, ladies, you're being rude. Excuse me. Uh, could you please... I, I don't have any faces to give you. I don't have any faces to give you. Well, that was short-lived. Yeah, I... Whoa, what the... What the heck is this dude's problem? He's rejecting the treatment. Retreating. Ow! Desmond, I need yeah, and I wonder why I keep getting the crap beat out of me by that crazy dude. Let me try and stabilize it. Yes, please do stabilize it. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Uh, yeah, well, I beg to differ, because I just got decked in the face by a guy with no shirt. Oh, there he is again. I'm, I'm moving away from him. Don't make eye contact. No, no, no. Get out of the way. We're losing him. That's enough, Miss Stillman. We need to pull him out. Now. Yeah, before I start getting motion sickness. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. Saving content. Please don't turn off your console. I wasn't planning on it. Upstairs. Go. Or Absterico, however you want to pronounce it. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now. Whoa, now. I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. You're a voice I actor, Mr. North. About. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So, what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Can we just Lie live down. and let die? Okay, pushing a button. I don't know what happens if we don't push a button. A wise decision. And I can finally move the camera. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little sensitive up and down. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. 
Whoa, a whole three dimensions? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very wow, well. like a video game? We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The yeah, but can it hold a thousand songs, huh? And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Oh, goody. Hey, Altair. What's up, bro? It's been a while. It's been a very, very long while. I have not played this particular Assassin's Creed game in a long time. So, I'm probably going to be terrible at it, just to give you fair warning. Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Hi, creepy computer lady! The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You mean like a health bar? Dangerously wink, wink. close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. Okay. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. Alright. Start puppeteering some stuff. Go all Jim Henson. Still, use the head button to observe your environment. The head button? Oh, you mean the first person camera. Got it. Well, ladies, I uh, hate to tell you this, but I think you may need to lay off on the bread. Now use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed with okay, the marker to continue the synchronization process. The marker? Whoa, okay, for a second that, that uh, double helix kind of looked like a marker from Dead Space. I got confused. I was like, did I put the wrong disc in? Alright, uh, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, excuse me, uh, excuse me, does anybody know the way to the library, excuse me, oh, excuse me, that looks heavy, wow, excuse me, oh, oh, hello, baby, call me sometime, uh, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, alright, enough of this nonsense, excuse me, simple enough, simple enough, the Animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low what about mid profile? profile? actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. So mid profile With would be like mildly annoying? Button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Alright. Oh yeah, look at that. Excellent. 
Of course, I already know how all this works, but for your benefit, you I'm acting all surprised. Your synchronization process by testing some high-profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. All right. Excuse me, sir. Got something on your lapel. Good. Using this is easy. Button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. Oh, no, we don't want that. Reach the marker before this man does. Are you kidding in all that armor? I'll freaking run circles around him. <gasps> no, you don't! Ha <laughs> Slowpoke. The animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select Locked your on. hidden blade. Alright. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. Alright, easy enough. Excuse me, do you have the time? <laughs> Nothing to see here. What? I didn't see it. I can tell you, if it were somebody who killed him, I would have no idea. Because I, it wasn't me. Has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. All right. Hey, buddy. Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. You no, you're not. You're still on the freaking ground. Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. All right. Good. He'll never think Your to look for me in the only place I could have possibly gone. The soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. This is pointless. Yeah, don't bother looking inside of the garden. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. I have no idea. I, I can't remember how long this tutorial goes on for. Your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. All right, basic Assassin's Creed stuff. Easy enough to figure out. Let us continue with the demonstration of Blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Alright. Where are the people to blend with? Oh, right, right, right. In the first game all you had to do was just hold down the A button and you were blended. Logic? What's that? No place for logic in an Assassin's Creed game. Good. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Alright. Whoopsie! Well done. That's nifty.
be useful in the later games. Provision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestors' way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life, or by respecting the creed. All right. You have successfully Respect completed the, creed. the tutorial. Respect it! The most stable memory block will now be loaded. Achievement! Yeah, this is the first time I'm playing this game on the Xbox. So, I'm gonna be getting some achievements! Though, don't expect me to try and get all of them, because there's one in particular that I'm gonna talk about later that I would rather not bother with. But for those who have already played this game, you probably know which one I'm talking about. Here we go. Wait. There must be another way. This one need not die. <laughs> okay, follow the creed. Great. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune. Skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. Yeah. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I, would I love how they tell you to follow the, the creed. creed. In the very Nothing first scene true. you see, he's Everything's breaking the creed. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way I... My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All Treasure? Matters, the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Alright, finally in the game after what felt like freaking forever. Uh, anyway. Uh, I don't know why they made it to where you have to press a button during a cutscene in order to view it as a specific cutscene. But luckily they get rid of that in later games, so it's no big deal. Uh, free step, otherwise known as free running. Just do this. There you go. Gotta be careful though, because the free running in these uh, first couple of Assassin's Creed games is a little bit wonky, especially in this one. It, it works well enough, but if you don't know exactly what you're doing, you're gonna get yourself killed quite often. Yeah, here we go. Lock on target. Uh, yeah, here's a little thing. I am almost never going to actually lock on to any of my targets. Because it's not absolutely necessary. There. That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet. Someone's coming. I want us through this gate before sunrise. Hey look, it's Jean-Luc Picard! The sooner we can turn our attention this guy's older than I thought he was. Robert de Saab. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Alright, so... Starting off, Altair is kind of an asshole. And he doesn't know how to climb ladders properly, so... Overall, he's got a bit to learn. I don't know why he's doing that. I hope that's not going to persist. Hold, Templars. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? I want a hug. Blood. You know not the things in which you meddle, assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. 
Stay, and all of you will die. Okay, so our first mission was not exactly a success. Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm going to be getting out of here. While well, the getting's good. Uh, this game feels so stiff. No offense, I still really like this game, but after playing, like, Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed 4, it's like, by that point, they've gotten the control so well streamlined that this feels a little bit wonky. And, like, I'm expecting to travel up this thing a lot faster, so it feels a little sluggish, but beyond that, it's still really good. Synchronizing memory to a more recent one. Isn't that what you're doing all the time, passing through memories? I mean, think about it. Yeah, never, never mind. Thinking too much into it. Altair, you've returned! Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. I wouldn't count on it, considering you just royally effed up. So, um... Uh, here we are, in Masyaf. We're gonna be seeing a lot of this place, whether we want to or not. Uh, and I will explain why later. It's one of my grievances with this game. It kind of drags it down for me. First, we've got to get up to the top. Which, the first time you do this, it's kind of cool, because, you know, kind of gives you a feel for the atmosphere. Uh, kind of the feel of the game. Shows you the grand scope of the place, like the castle in the background. It looks really cool. Uh, but as I said, I will explain later why this eventually becomes more of an annoyance than atmosphere. Secret organization has a giant castle with assassins' banners all over it. Yeah, it's no wonder they get into so much ah, trouble. He returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. Well, somebody's got his panties in a twist. Though considering how much of a jerk Altair has been so far, I can't say I blame him. In the fortress, weapons are restricted to training ring only. Alrighty then. I, I keep holding down A, expecting it to make me fast walk, when all it does is make me walk slower. That is going to be annoying. Until I can train it out of my head, that's going to be a real hindrance. It is an honor. You're right, it is an honor. The master waits within. The master waits within. Wait a minute, if he's up here, why did you point out there? Why is everybody lying to me in this place? What's up, dog? Altair, Master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. Oh boy. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. Well, There's here's the thing. Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? 
It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. Yeah, on that this realm. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. Okay. Wait, this is that a word? Is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you, I'll find him. I'll go in. No. You do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Yeah, about that. Dead. No. Not dead. Malik. I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the roof. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here, take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well, I'll not deny him. Go, inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Yeah, I really hope he does a better job this time. By the way, what's up with his run cycle? Like, can anybody answer me that? Why is he throwing his arms back like that? Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Yeah, I, I know that. They just told to us that. Away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. So, kill a bunch of Templars. I can do that. I have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of that. Uh, up hidden blade, down fists, throwing knives, sword. Got it. I'll stick to the sword. No, wait. Which one's the sword? I think that one's the sword. Hey, dude, watch it! What's the hurry? Oh, boy. Ugh. I hate the combat in this game. Whoop. Uh, I can't remember how to do anything. I can't remember how to do anything. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. Come here, pal. Yeah, I forgot. You gotta time the counters a little bit better in this game. Otherwise, you miss. Come on. Come on. Did you just try to grab me? Oh, yeah. Stuff for hold down for strong attacks. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember any of this. <laughs> Come here. You're dead. Oh, there we go. Alright, finally getting in the groove of things here. Uh, excuse me. Oh! I think I just gave him a spleenectomy. Out of the way. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. You thought you could sneak up on me? That's what you get. Freaking cut your knees off. Oh, 
What? No. Uh, heathen is not a very PC term, sir. I don't know if you're aware. I prefer a person of a differing religious faith. Thank you very much. Whoops. Alright, so I'm not very talkative during this because you kinda gotta concentrate with Assassin's Creed 1's combat system. Alright. I guess we're retreating. Fast forwarding memory to they, didn't a more one. they didn't even give me a chance. I could have killed all those guys. I'm not even kidding. With Assassin's Creed combat systems, you can kill like hundreds of people. Al Muelim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. <laughs> 